Hello. Hi. Hi, Marlene. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Hello, Jenny. Hi, girls. How are you today? Hi, teacher. And you? I'm fine, teacher. Fine. I think I'm okay. Como sigue? Better. Ah, finally. <laughs> yes, I feel better today. I feel ready to start with the class, right? What about you? You feel ready? Quería disculparme porque ayer no me pude conectar. Yes, I noticed. <laughs> I realized sí. about it. <laughs> yeah, but don't worry. Lo siento, uh -huh. pero no pude conectarme anoche. Yes, don't worry about it, okay? Um, we were studying simple past. I don't know if you check uh, the video class that I uploaded. No. ¿Dónde, no sé dónde lo sube. Ah, I shared a link in the group, the, in the WhatsApp group. Uh, give me a second and I will look for it. I will send it one more time. Marlene, can you send me a WhatsApp, please? So that I can send you the link. <clears throat> Sorry, teacher. Can you send me a WhatsApp? A hello okay. or something like that? Please. Okay, I'll read. Yes. So that I can send you the link of this. Second, I am on it. The teacher has problems, right? Okay. I have it right here. Okay, here you have it, Marlene. Okay, there you go with the link. Okay, over there, I upload all the videos, all the classes, okay? Okay, thank so you. In case, you're welcome. In case you cannot be in one class, you just go and watch the video to be on alert of the things that we did during the class, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for telling me. Now I can see Adri is here. Hello, Adri. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you, and you're fine. I am great also, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Now let's see, we have also right here, Marta. Hello, Marta. Can you listen to me, Marta? No, Marta cannot listen to me. Hi, Marta. Your microphone. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how Ready? are you today? Fine. Fine. Okay. Fine. Excellent. Nice to have you here. Okay. So, um, yesterday, yesterday we were studying something really interesting for me, and that is simple past, right? We use it to talk about things in the past. Okay. So yesterday we studied the structure that we follow for positive and for negative sentences. Okay, let's see. For example, Adri, do you remember the structures? <laughs> do you remember the structures? No entendí eso. ¿Se recuerda de las estructuras del simple past? ¿Estructura? Yes. Ah, um, sí. Ajá, um, tell me. Uh, the no, subject, <laughs> subject. Uh, plus uh, verb pass uh -huh. plus complement. Excellent. This is awesome. for for positive. Exactly. Uh, negative is uh -huh. subject plus didn't plus verb present and complement. Exactly. Thank you so much, Adri. Okay, so for the ones Marlene, Jenny, and Marta, right, that were not in the class, look at it. We had a little review right here. So for positives, we have subject verb in ED because we talk about regular verbs, okay? And then the complement. And for a negative sentence, we have the subject, the auxiliary didn't, and the verb in the, in the present in this case, okay? In the present. 
So I have right here an example, right? She learned French the last year. As you could see, we have ED because that is the past of the verb learn, okay? And if I want this sentence negative, I have to add this part. She didn't learn. And I have the verb in the natural form, okay? She didn't learn French, okay? So for Marlene, Jenny, and Marta, is this clear or not? <laughs> No lo entiendo, regulado, yo. You don't understand, okay? We are going to have practices, okay? No, We are going no to sé have... por qué, perdón, no sé por qué me han quedado en este que sí, no. You don't understand. Mm. Pero no entienden todo o solo este pedacito del ED? Yo solo el ED. El ED, ajá. ¿Marta? Yo igual, pero sí me... No sé me, cuándo usar. Me chivolo, o sea. Ok. What about you, Jenny? Uh, el que me costó un poquitito fue el D, aunque cuando estaba respondiendo unas preguntas de la plataforma eh, en DIN, sí me salieron unas buenas, uh -huh. pero de ahí otras le intenté poner ED. Y poner ding sin la apóstrofe o algo así, pero mm, tampoco me dio. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> so now we are going, I'm going to explain it step by step. Okay. So, Marlene, in that case, we are going to use ed only for regular verbs. Verbos regulares. En inglés, la mayoría de verbos son verbos regulares, en su mayoría. Verbos irregulares como el verbo play, donde solo necesitamos agregarle ed para que sea en el pasado. ¿Ok? Otro ejemplo, study. Le borramos la y. Let me see. Ah, no, we don't, we don't do that. And we add this, right? Studied. Another one, for example, let me see. We have also learn, as you can see right here. And we only add ED. That is the only thing that we do to talk about the past in regular verbs. In a positive sentence. Okay. So, Lisandro, can you create a sentence using the verb played, please? Uh... Usando el pasado simple. Yes, Play. please. I... Eh, I play in Saturday. Exactly. Good job. As you could see, we have I played on, on Saturday. Saturday. Easy, right? I played on Saturday, and we are talking about the past. Okay? Teacher, Yo jugué. Yes, tell me. El, el ED se le agrega a los regulares en el pasado simple, el ED. Pero ya cuando se contesta en negativo, pasado, ya no. Queda exactly. igual, ya no se le agrega ED. Pero exactly. Siempre. Excellent, Lisandro. It is in that way. Como dijo Lisandro, cuando hablamos del pasado, con verbos regulares y oraciones positivas, le agregamos el ED. Va a ser diferente cuando queremos crear una oración negativa. Ahorita les voy a dar el ejemplo. Así como esto, miren. Aquí tenemos la estructura para la negativa. Entonces, tomando en cuenta el ejemplo que nos dio Lisandro, la de que decía, I played on Saturday, was. I play on Saturday. This is positive sentence, right? So, for make it negative, we only add didn't, okay? It will be I... didn't. Y le quitamos el ed al verbo. Lo dejamos en su manera natural. I didn't play on Saturday. 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 Exactly. It will be in that way. 
como dijo Lisandro. Positivo, agregamos ED. Negativo, lo quitamos, pero agregamos el DIREN. Positivo se le pone. Exacto. Teacher, yes. esa regla es inamovible. Exacto. No podría, por ejemplo, pensando uh -huh. en, mi, en mi locura, no podría decir yo, I not play it, play it, play it on Saturday. No. No, porque, porque sería doble negación. Uh -huh. Correcto. Sería doble negación. Uh -huh. Exacto. Exacto. Entonces solo puedo... Tiene que ir el Exacto, Lisandro. Obligatoriamente, diren siempre. Porque es el auxiliar. Uh -huh. Entonces... Yes, Estrella. In question. In questions. Sí. Ah, that will be another topic. Excellent, Estrella. Ok, vamos a adelantarnos un poquito. Ese va a ser otro tema. Entonces, una, un preview nos vamos a dar ahorita. Para las preguntas, ocupamos el auxiliar did, en este caso. Did, el sujeto, did you, y el verbo en su manera normal. Did you play on Saturday? ¿Ok? Así sería en yes, no question. ¿Ok? Did you play on Saturday? ¿Se dan cuenta? Ocupamos el did. Es no pregunta, ¿verdad? Exacto. Yes. Yes, no question. Pero ahorita, ahorita, solo estamos con positive and negative sentences, ¿ok? Only with that part. Is that clear, guys? ¿Estamos claros? Positivo yes. es... Es... It, uh, it, playing. ED, exactly. Y, y negativo sería direct. Didn't. Um, didn't, perdón. Didn't. Y no le agregamos el ED. Ah, se, se deja en su normalidad. Exacto, en su manera normal. Perfect. Ok. Do you have any question about it or not? Yes, no. Clear. Maybe. No, okay, maybe. Yeah. So, so, right, okay. So now, I have a practice for you. One sentence per student. I have 10 sentences right here. I think that is enough. So look at it. I will choose one person. And as you could see, I have the first sentence positive. So for example, if I say, Adri, you are number one. The sentence is in positive. So Adri, please make the sentence negative. In simple past. Mm -hmm, Adri. I didn't study French yesterday. Exactly. You see? Easy for Adri, right? I didn't study French yesterday. Easy. So this is something that we are going to do. Esto vamos a hacer ahorita. Si ven que la oración está en positivo, vamos a hacerlo en negativo. Si la oración está en negativa, ustedes me la pasan a positivo. Okay? I'm going to choose... One person, okay? One person per sentence, randomly, okay? So let me see. Number one is already for Adri. Number two will be for, let me see. I, I can see Bernardino one more time. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm fine. Working right now. Ah, so sad, right? Sadly. Yeah, yeah but okay. okay. Uh, Mario didn't play the guitar last night. Excellent, amazing. Thank you so much, Bernardino. You're welcome. Now I have right here Lorena. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Uh, fine. Fine. Okay, <laughs> can you <laughs> help me? <laughs> ah, oh my God, so sorry for that. Thank God you are going to be better for tomorrow, okay? So look okay. at it. I have no sentence number three for you. This is impossible. So can you create it negative, please? Uh, la tres. Yes, please. Luisa uh, learned to play the violin. The violin. The violin. Uh -huh. Luisa learned to play the violin. Aha, uh -huh. Luisa learned to play the violin. Luisa learned to play the violin. Aha, uh -huh. and if I want this sentence negative, Lorena? Ah, do you know? 
isa not left almost almost aha mm -hmm. another person okay i will ask another person let me see who can help lorena who can help lorena I can see Estrella want to participate. Okay, yes, Estrella. Estrella vamos. <laughs> ah. Estrella. Huh? Did, did, didn't Luisa learn to play the violin? Exactly. Good job. Okay. It will be? Aha, uh -huh. you see, Lorena? It will be in this way. Lorena. Lorena. Luisa didn't learn to play the violin. Okay. Luisa didn't learn to play the violin. Excellent. Thank you so much, Estrella and Lorena also. Now I have number four. Number four in this case will be for Carlita. Hello. This is for you, my dear. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, Sarita, uh, Patrick didn't call his mom the last weekend. Excellent. Amazing. Thank you so much, Carlita. Number five. Number five will be for Lisandro, please. Ursula didn't like the movie. Ursula liked the movie. Ursula liked the movie. Excellent. Thank you so much, Lisandro. Now, uh, number six. Let me see my volunteer for number six will be Jenny. Okay, Jenny, go ahead, please. Um, uh, six. Yes. Kathy. 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 Enjoy. The match. Exactly. Kathy enjoyed. Enjoyed. Okay. The match. Exactly. The match. Ahorita no les estoy exigiendo mucho la pronunciación del final porque no lo hemos estudiado. Pero al final de la clase me van a tener que hacer una pronunciación <risa> perfecta con los verbos, ¿ok? Porque eso vamos a ver el día de ahora. Okay. Excellent. Now let's see, number seven. This will be for Marta. Her, Her son, son didn't... Ah, no, didn't, no, ¿verdad? Porque lo tengo que transformar. Exactly, Her Marta. Three to do the home and work. Ajá, try. This verb is try. ¿Qué significa try? Uh, no sé. No intentar. Sé. Intentar o tratar. Ah. Exactly. Intentar o tratar. So, ¿cómo Her sería entonces, Marta? Sería Gerson. Try to do. <ríe> qué pena. No, ¿por qué qué pena? Se si todo estamos aprendiendo. No puedo pronunciar. No. To do. To do. To the homework. The homework, exactly. Okay. Her son tried to do the homework. To do the homework. Exactly. In that way. Yes. Thank you so much, Martita. Okay. No nos tiene que dar pena. Aquí todos estamos aprendiendo y todos nos equivocamos. Nadie es perfecto. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Now let's see another person. My volunteer for number eight will be, let me see, probably Maria Leticia is here. Maria Leticia, are you here? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so number eight is yours. Okay. Christy didn't eat the class. Aha. Uh -huh. And this one in positive? Christy hated the class excellent thank you so much christy hated the class awesome let me see another one yes lorena carla open the window open the window exactly thank you so much number 10 will be for um i have right here rosa elba are you here uh, carlos didn't close the closet. Exactly. Carlos didn't close the closet. Excellent. And I am missing Marlene, right? I am missing Marlene. So give me a second. I will create one for you. Lisandro. Let me see. Lisandro. 
didn't talk in the class. Right. So, okay, Marlene, this is yours. Lisandro didn't talk in the class. Lisandro talk, talk in the class. Exactly. ¿Cómo se dice con el de? Talk. Ah, Lisandro. Talk. Así, talk. With tea. With tea. Ajá, talk. 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 Exactly. Talk. In the class. In the class. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay. So, guys, questions about the structures for positive and negative sentences? Todo bien, teacher. Todo nice. Okay. So now we are going to learn about pronunciation. Okay. Los sonidos que tenemos al final de todos los verbos regulares en el pasado. Please pay attention, right? Do your, your ear really big and pay attention to it. Okay. Later, the teacher will explain it in a deeper way. But now, please. Pay attention to the video because this is something important. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t, worked, watched. These verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in id, invited, visited. Okay, look at it. A little pause right here. As you can see, we have three different sounds, right? We have the t sound, the d sound and the id sound okay so for example in the first one we have work work goes with t sound so we'll, we are going to say worked okay let me see for example um carlita can you help me with the pronunciation of the word of the verb work in the past okay uh, work Work. Work works with at the end work exactly excellent pronunciation thank you so much then we have the verb watch watch con la pronunciación de la testa es un poquitito complicado okay sería entonces watched ponemos dos t casi juntas decimos el watch y después le agregamos otra t Watched. 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 Okay. Watched. Exactly. Let me see. Marlene, can you help me with the pronunciation of this one? Watched. Exactly. Awesome. Thank you so much. Then we have D sound, right? Cleaned. Okay? Mm. Cleaned. Mm. Let me see, Adri, can you help me with the pronunciation of clean? Clean. Clean, excellent. Then we have the verb stay. And in the past it will be stayed. Stayed. Okay, Bernardino, can you help me with this one? Stayed. Stayed, perfect. And the last sound that we have is ed. Like in the example of the verb invited invited okay for example estrella can you help me with this verb invited invited great this is it exactly thank you so much so there you go now we're going to continue with the video because we have more explanation okay Id, invited, visited. In order to understand when we'll have a T, D, or Id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless 
and boys sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn. Okay, I want to see you making this, right? The two fingers in your throat, okay? And we're going to say watch, and then we watch. have turn. Watch. Do you feel vibration? Watch. Yes? Yes, teacher. In which verb? Estrella? Uh, <laughs> turn. Turn. Watch. Turn. Because turn. in watch, let's see, watch. What? I don't feel right. Watch. watch. In the what sound. Watch. No, what? right? But what about torn? Torn. Over there, with vibration, right? Okay. So over there, you go with voiced sound. Cuando yo digo voiced sound, me refiero a los las que vibra aquí, vibra nuestras cuerdas vocales. Torn. Como en torn. What? Torn. Exactly, Jenny. Excellent. Entonces, watch sería un voiceless sound. Porque no sentimos vibration. Pero mm -hmm. torn sería mm -hmm. voice sound. Mm -hmm. okay. Now let's continue with the video. Perdón, teacher. Eh, cuando vibra como voice, ¿qué es? Ok, cuando vibra, le decimos voiced. Cuando vibra. Voice vibration. But when we don't feel, we say voice less voice cuando no vibra es voiceless voiceless yes voiceless sound okay there you go i'm going to continue with the video okay so teacher, teacher. Yeah. y eso en español voice voice y voiceless in spanish i don't think that we have Una palabra en específico, pero si buscamos alguna traducción podría ser sonidos con, con voz o con vibración. Voiced podría ser que tienen vibración. Y voiceless que no tienen vibración. Ok. Excellent, good question. Now let's continue paying attention. Watch. Turn. Watch. Watch. Turn. Watch. Whenever we pronounce the Turn. verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following these particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C H G H T H S S C X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, K 
kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then... Okay, so there you go with this part, right? I have the chart right here for you. I'm going to do it a little bit bigger. Wait a second. Okay. There you go with this part. Uh-huh. We have that ED sounds are going to be only for the verb that finish with T and D sound. Okay. So we are going to say one T. Okay. We are going to say Needed. As you could see, can you listen? Wanted. Needed. Okay. I needed. I wanted. I visited. Okay. So I Teacher. want to share. Yes. One, I want question. Yes, tell me. When, when. The microphone. I sorry. <laughs> Cuando las, 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 todas las palabras que terminan en edes son en pasado. Oh. Sí. Ahorita, sí, los verbos. No, que terminan pero en... en alguna otra ocasión se puede usar en otro, en otro, que no sea pasado. Es que a veces los verbos pueden funcionar también como adjetivos, pero ahorita los estamos viendo solo como verbos. Y por eso le digo que me cuesta, que yo no hay donde meterlos de repente. Pero ahorita solo enfocémonos en verbos, ¿ok? Absolutamente solo en verbos, ¿ok? Sí. Entonces, cuando veamos un verbo con ed, es un verbo en pasado y nada más que eso, ¿ok? Entonces, continuamos con esta parte. Tenemos ed sound. Vamos a hacer ed sound cuando tenemos t en d sound al final de los verbos. Por ejemplo, want, wanted, need, needed, okay? Now, let's go with the T sound. Cuando tenemos que los verbos terminan con P sound, con K sound, F, F, H, H S, and X, like X, right here. We are going to pronounce it with T sound, okay? So we are going to say, helped, looked, sniffed, okay? So I want volunteers for this, help me reading the, these verbs, but with a very good pronunciation that I say, oh my God, a native people, right? A mm -hmm. native person, sorry. What yeah. verb is? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I have people. Okay, let's start with Estrella. And then we we'll continue with another person, okay? Let's see Estrella. Vaya. Guan, guan, neither, neither. Okay, you are going to say five, okay? Mm -hmm. This one. Vaya, ahora, help, look it, sniff it. Ajá. <laughs> Esto serían con t Uh -huh. Entonces sería helped. Helped. Help. Help. Look at. Mm -hmm. Ajá, uh -huh. we say looked. Looked. Exactly. Looked. Okay. Help. Looked. Snip. Snip. Mm. Snip. Eh. Love it. Uh -huh. Until there. Stop right there. Thank you so much, Estrella. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was good. Now, I have a, another volunteer. Or no, I have to choose. 
Yes. Okay. Let's see. Lisandro and then Lorena. Okay. Okay, Lisandro. Help me with these five verbs, please. With sound. Uh, loud. Watch. What? Ah, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre este y este, Lisandro? Eh, el de arriba es watch y el otro es what. Casi. Miremos, aquí voy a dar la, la diferencia. El, el primero de lavar lo hacemos shh, así, ¿ve? Como cuando decimos watch. Estoy viendo tele, ¿ok? What? Washed. Watch. Exactly. What's so, the other one? What's? Mm -hmm. What's? Exactly. Yes, in that way. Uh -huh. The other one, Lisandro. This one. Hey, kiss. Dance. Excellent. Fix. Excellent, Lisandro. Thank you so much. Now we go with Lorena, right? Lorena, one, two, three, four, and five. There you go, Lorena. Thank you so much. Excellent. Yes. We down. Exactly. We say cold, right? Ahorita quiero que me le den un extra emphasis al final de la pronunciación. Cuando vayan a hablar con alguien normal, no le van a decir, yes, I called my mom. No, right? More natural. I called my mom, right? Ahorita porque lo estamos aprendiendo y quiero dar más énfasis en eso. Okay? Thank you. Now let's see another person. Do I have another volunteer for the last five or no? No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. No volunteer. Ah. Uh -huh. Who says me? Me. Me. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you, Marlene. So go ahead, please. Love, use, amazing, 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 amazing. Ruby, Ruby, or Ruby. Room. He claim. Excellent. 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 Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay. ¿Quiere alguien más practicar o nos vamos directo a otra práctica? Dania Marta quería. You want to practice? No, en esta. No. Yes, Martita. You can do it, Martita. You see, you can do it, Martita. Okay, yeah. Martita. Let's try, Martita. I will give you only five verbs, right? Five verbs. You are going to pronounce this, 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 and this. Okay, Martita. Go okay. ahead, please. Okay. One. one. <laughs> Go ahead, Martita. One. One. New. Okay, okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, Martita. Escuchemos. Estos recordemos que van con ed sound. Con id uh -huh. al final. Estos van con t al final y estos con d al final. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces. Go ahead, Martita. Guantir. Ajá. D. This one, ¿cómo sería new esa? Nude. Ajá, ese sería knitted. Knitted. Exactly. Knitted. Knitted. ¿Y este? Helped. Helped. Oh, no. Helped. Con T sound. Look. 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 Ajá. ¿Y este? Caldy. Cold. Cold. Exactly. Thank cool. you so much. Yes, Martita. You see that you could do it. Excellent, Martita. That was awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's move on into the next activity that I have right here for you. 
it's going to be about this one. We are going to first fill the blanks with the verbs between parentheses. And in case you see like this one, not call, it means that the sentence is going to be negative. Later, you are going to help me reading this part. Pero lo van a leer con una pronunciación excelente, ¿ok? Porque ya vimos pronunciación de verbos en pasado, right? So this is a piece of cake for you. So for this, for this, I will give you only five, no, five minutes, no, only four minutes. Four minutes is enough, ¿ok? So go ahead, you have four minutes until now. Si quieren y terminan antes, pueden empezar practicando la pronunciación de los verbos, ¿ok? So go ahead, please. I will be right here in case you have questions or doubts. Okay. ¿Cuántos minutos nos va a dar, teacher? Four. Mm. Only four, Cuatro. Alejandro. Yeah. <laughs> that is enough. ¿Cuántas haríamos, teacher? Todo esto, Martita. Los espacios van a rellenar. Oh, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 espacios. Fácil. Okay. A piece of cake. <laughs> okay. Okay. One minute and 20 seconds, guys, okay? Teacher, yes, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, for the verb invite, uh -huh. uh, because uh, finish in vowel e, so I don't know <laughs> the pronunciation. <laughs> the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, in the pass. The pronunciation it will be with ed. Ed. Okay. Okay. Yes. 
when when finished in vowel? No, in this case it will be in ed when the sound. Porque, okay, I will say this in Spanish. <laughs> Recordemos que no todos los verbos, o sea, aquí por lo, por lo menos invite, cuando lo escribimos termina con e, pero a la hora de pronunciarlo el sonido final es de t. Entonces, cuando tenemos sonido final de t y d, es cuando vamos a pronunciarlo con id. Invite, invited. Entonces tiene que ser según el sonido de la, de la pronunciación. Exacto. Okay. No la manera en la que lo escribimos. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you for your... Yes. Y para pronunciar está... Este, um, ¿Cómo decirle? Stay... Stay? Uh -huh. Pero con el... ID. ID. Ah, como termina, se dan cuenta, stay, termina con i e sound. Entonces, solo ah. le digamos d al sonido. Ah. Entonces, sería stayed. Stay. Stay. Está stay. bien. Yes, stayed. Stay. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I think that you finished, right? Let me see. Yes, casi seis minutos le di. Yes, that was enough. Okay. So let's start Finish. with this part. Finish, Estrella? Yeah. Finish, teacher. Yes, okay, Estrella. Yeah. So I'm going to... Yes? Who says teacher? Hello, teacher. Oh. Oh, please. Oh. Yes, okay, Estrella. You are going to be the first one, okay? Please, take your best English, your best pronunciation, okay? Go ahead. Um. On Friday night, I waited uh, for a phone call, mm -hmm. but my girlfriend didn't uh, call. I use a state, state home, state home, and watch, watch. Television. Okay, stop right there. Thank you so much, Estrella. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. Al final vamos a revisar los verbos, okay? Y la pronunciación, para que todos lo practiquemos juntos. Thank you, Estrella. Good pronunciation. Now let's see another person. Another person for this one. My volunteer. My volunteer will be, yes, Bernardino. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we start to television, right? On Saturday, I I visited my friend Frank. We talked and we listened. It. We listened, listened, listened to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over. Uh, yeah. We cook it. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Stop right there because I need another volunteer. Okay. Thank you so much, Bernardino. Another volunteer. Uh, yes, Jenny, go ahead, please. Uh, desde el inicio. No, no, no. Desde, oh, oh. desde I, the, después de the great meal. Ah, oh, okay. Sería. Folk, I great meal. Hi. Zero, no work. Ah, I didn't not work. No, I didn't work. I didn't work exactly. Ah. I didn't work. Porque si decimos I didn't not work, double negation. Ah, tendríamos que quitarle el no. Exactly. Solo dejamos, I didn't. I didn't work very hard, hard on Sunday. Uh -huh. I didn't study as, 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 oh. as, as hard. No sé cómo se pronuncia at hard. Esto. Se dice at all. Arol. Arol. Yes. 
arrow. I just. I just. I just walk to the mall in the shop. 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 Oh, shop. yes. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's start step by step, verb by verb. So in this one, we are going to use the pronunciation of ed sound. Okay, ed. So we are going to say waited, waited, waited. 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 For this one, it's going to be the pronunciation of a d, stayed. 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 For this one, watched. Watched. What? Uh, do you feel vibration? Watch, no. What? Right? No vibration. Entonces, no. cuando no sentimos vibration, ocupamos sound. No sentimos vibración, ocupamos Sound. Entonces sería sound. watched. 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 Exactly. Then we have this one. Talk. Do you feel vibration? Talk. 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 Do you feel vibration? No. No, right? Ah, when we don't have vibration, no. we use C sound. So it will be how? ¿Cómo sería? How? Thought. Exactly. Thought. Thought. Quiero que se fijen en la pronunciación del verbo en su manera natural. Nosotros no decimos talk. La L la omitimos. Entonces decimos solo talk. Talk. Lo mismo pasa con el verbo caminar. Nosotros no decimos walk o walk. Nosotros decimos walk. Entonces, no. para la pronunciación del pasado, sería lo mismo. Sería talk y le agregamos la T. I talked. Ok, I talked. Ok. Then we have invite. Invite. In this case, we add a ED sound. Invited. Invited. Okay. Invited. Then we have the verb cook. Another one. We say it with a T sound. I cooked. I cooked. 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 Yes. Como con S al final. No. Cook. Con T. Cook. 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 Con T. Cook. I cooked. Escucha bien. Cooks. Cooked. Exactly. Another verb. The verb walk. In this case, what is the correct pronunciation in the past, guys? Walk. Walked. Walked. Exactly, Andrew. Walked. What about the verb shop? Mm -hmm. Shot. Shot. Exactly. Shot. In that way. With T sound. Como teacher, como voy a saber yo cuando pronunciar con T, con D, o con ID. Sorry, guys, but we have to learn it by heart. Teacher. Yes. Fernandino. One, qu one question. In yes. shop, we need to add another P, right? Another T. P. T. 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 No, no, no. The shop. Shop. Ah, yes, in the way you write it. Yes, we need to add another P, right? Yes, another P. Exactly. Pero en la pronunciación lo hacemos con T sound. Entonces, chicos, para la manera en cómo pronunciamos, sí tenemos que aprendernos estas reglas, right? By heart. No les voy a decir que, ay, apréndanselas todas porque esto les va a salir en el examen. No, right. Esto se aprende con práctica. Quiero que practiquen, practiquen, practiquen cuando se estén bañando, right? I called, I helped, I cooked. Mientras se bañan, right? Para que practiquen. Tarea. Yes. Homework for you. 
¿Cuál va a ser la tarea? Estamos estudiando pronunciación, entonces. I want you to record an audio. ¿Ok? Record an audio. And you are going to say what? Look at it. Those verbs. Those verbs. En el audio me van a decir estos verbos con una pronunciación. ¿Ok? Ay, no. Ya me digo, wow, practicaron estos niños hoy, ¿ok? ¿Hasta qué horas tenemos para enviárselo? Vamos a dar hasta el día de mañana antes de medianoche. No antes de la clase, antes de medianoche. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Es que fíjese que tuve un bajo de energía y me fui hasta ahorita estoy regresando. ¿Me puede explicar de nuevo? Yes. Estamos en la tarea, estrella. La tarea va a ser que van a grabar un audio diciéndome todos estos verbos. Son poquitos, ¿ok? Todos estos verbos son como 20. Poquitos, ¿ok? Estos verbos me los van a decir con una pronunciación. Aquí tienen eh, la tablita esta. La tabla se la voy a pasar si quieren. Solo que me dicen... Que sea video, ¿no? teacher. Que sea video para que salgamos con la boca torcida. <risa> no, Lisandro, no. Lisandro, María. No, de Ajá, Nino, va a video, <ríe> si usted quiere mandarme el video, Lisandro, no problem, right? Ok. No, él, lo va a, él lo va a mandar, dice. Yes, yes, verdad. <ríe> ok, entonces. Si lo manda Nino, lo mando yo. <ríe> Pónganse de acuerdo, pues, y me lo mandan. <ríe> Ahí lo voy a ver con la boca para un lado. <ríe> ok. Entonces, guys. Van a tener esta tabla y quiero que la pronuncien de esta manera. Si ven que ED, entonces sería wanted, needed. Quiero que den énfasis en la pronunciación final. Como les dije, wanted. quiero que den énfasis ahorita porque estamos aprendiendo la pronunciación. Ya la hora de practicarlo naturalmente, no me lo van a decir de esa manera. ¿Ok? Teacher. Yes. O sea que vaya, estas serían las reglas. Cuando los verbos ten meaning en T y en T, es que se pronuncian con ed y así sucesivamente con pk y y con todo eso sería con la pronunciación t y las demás letras con la pronunciación d depende cómo termine el verbo natural en presente ajá depende cómo no. termine el verbo pero no la manera escrita sino que en la manera de la que pronunciamos el verbo porque Adri nos dio un ejemplo se dieron cuenta en el verbo visit, se dan cuenta en la manera en que lo escribimos, termina con e. Uh -huh. Pero en la manera de pronunciarlo, nosotros no decimos visité, right? Uh -huh. Decimos visit, termina con t sound. Entonces tenemos que poner atención a la pronunciación del verbo, no la escritura. ¿Ok? Ok. 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 Sí. Ok. Well, About? Yes. Uh, can you repeat the pronunciation for fix, fix? Okay, it, it will be fixed. Fix. Fi fixed. Okay, in that way. Awesome. Fixed. In that way. Excellent. Adri will give us classes of pronunciation, right? She's very good at that. Excellent. Okay, guys. Questions about this? About the homework? No questions. Ok, entonces tenemos hasta mañana antes de medianoche. Quiero estar escuchando hoy en la noche todos sus audios. Ok. Yo tengo una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Eh, o sea que no hay una regla como, digamos, por ejemplo, si termina en Y, que lo vamos a pronunciar con T o con I, sino que es más que todo... Eh, no sé, quizás, no es la escritura en sí. Por ejemplo, stay, que termina en Y, se dice state. Es más que toda la pronunciación lo que nos enfocamos. Pero ¿cómo vamos a identificar eso en, en un verbo, por ejemplo, que no esté en esta tabla que, que usted nos ha dado? Si hubiera otro verbo. Aquí, aquí estamos unas excepciones. Esto se me olvidó leérselas. Good point. Aquí tenemos unas excepciones. Miren, cuando las palabras terminan con un sonido de vocal, como el verbo enjoy, se dan cuenta, enjoy, y, terminan con un sonido de vocal, y. 
Entonces las pronuncias la, <ríe> las pronunciamos con the sound. Enjoyed. Por ejemplo, el verbo follow termina con u. Follow. El, la u es un sonido vocal. Entonces decimos followed. followed. Otro verbo, el verbo play. Termina con sonido vocal. I. Play. Entonces la pronunciación sería con D. Played. Ok. Play. Esta que ven aquí está bajito en letras chiquititos. Es una excepción en inglés. Las palabras que terminen con sonido de vocal las vamos a pronunciar con D. Con sonido de D. No, con la D nomás. Exactly. In that way. ¿Ok? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok. Got it, teacher. I understand everything perfectly, right? I am a master in pronunciation. Thank you, teacher. ¿Ok? Ok. No questions about it. Yo me imagino, yo me lo imagino ahorita escuchando cada audio. Yes, at night, right? I will be like this. Ah, music, okay? Music for my ears, okay? So, guys, uh, if there are no more Bye -bye. questions, I think that that will be yeah. all for today, right? And I hope to see you tomorrow. Please remember that you have to work in the platform. Section number four is for this week, okay? So, start working in that. And remember that you have homework with me, an audio. Easy peasy for you, a piece of cake. Okay, so that will be Thank all for today. Thank you so much, and bye bye. Bye, bye teacher. Bye, bye teacher. Bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.